everybody, I'm here today with Tom, one of my clients, just to find out a bit more about Tom's experience of using us and to discuss this fantastic property behind me. Talk me through uh, the property behind me here, which I believe that you grew up in. I did. Uh, we moved in here in uh, the late 1970s. Uh, we were the uh, second family to own the house. It was built in 1904, uh, designed by John Douglas, uh, who built the church in Sandy Way as well as the clock in Chester. Obviously, we're stood here for a reason. I'm an estate agent, uh, so the property has been on the market. Could you talk me through that process, Tom, so why it came to be put on the market in the first place? Yeah, I d <laughs> it's, it's quite sad sometimes uh, when you're selling a house. Uh, we tend to think that selling a house is an exciting time. Yes. Uh, moving to a new area, perhaps a bigger property, um, uh, moving on uh, because you want to you know, move somewhere different. Yes. That isn't always the case. In our case, unfortunately, it was because my mum passed away uh, and there was nobody else in the family that uh, needed this house and yeah. so we okay. we had to sell it from the family and that was an emotional thing to do uh we've we, you know we've grown up here we've lived here for 40 years yeah um and um uh it's 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 difficult sometimes selling a house rather than it just being a fully positive experience okay. so you went through the process of appointing your original estate agent uh the agent who dealt with it before us uh, so could you talk me through how that went and your experiences there, please? Yeah, we originally uh, instructed another estate agent um, uh, on recommendation and on seeing the number of boards that they had around. Um, and um, we, we thought that that would be you know, the right approach for us. Um, uh, over a period of weeks, months, it became apparent that uh, I didn't feel that we were getting the, uh, the number of viewings that we uh, expected initially, and that was based on a conversation between us, so the numbers were lower. And, but perhaps more worrying was that I couldn't gain contact with them. I couldn't uh, speak to them. I phoned up, the phone would ring. Uh, I tried to speak to people, they weren't in. Uh, and, and I think I increasingly became aware that if I'm struggling to get hold of them, then potentially so are other buyers. Yeah. The, the point came at which you decided you, you thought about changing estate agent. Could you just talk me through how you felt about changing agent and maybe any issues or concerns that you might have had? Uh, yes, D initially you feel slightly disloyal when you move on from a relationship, um, uh, but equally we wanted to sell the property. The strategy that you outlined was very clear from the start. Uh, you, you identified the timetable that you thought you would be able to sell the property over, the number of viewings that you'd expect to see over that period of time, combined with the number of offers that you would also expect, and then something of a pricing strategy in terms of uh, where we would start and where we expected to be and you know how we would judge the market as, as it Im improved or you know we learnt from the experience. Following that process, we had a good number of viewings, didn't we? And we had a couple of offers. Yep. Uh, one was crazy and he walked away and then we managed to get a far better offer out of uh, the, the, buyer, the buyer now. Uh, so how do you feel at the end of this process then, Tom, once we're very close to completion, what are your thoughts about your feelings You, you now? delivered on your promise, which was we will get this many people in. There was a clear strategy on how you would get those people in. You got a number of viewings that would uh, introduce the property to a larger number of people. What was really surprising for me was we got a number of people in that hadn't seen the property previously, weren't aware of it, even though it had been on the market for some months. Um, your uh, advertising, your approach, uh, reached a whole new audience. So there was an intelligent sort of response, feedback that we got. So we didn't just say, Mr. Smith had been round and that was the end of the conversation. Yeah. We learned as we went along. Yeah. And, and part of the learning process is understanding the things that you can't change very quickly, 
uh, you, you told us a couple of things that you would like to do to the property to make it feel uh, more desirable to people. Yeah. And uh, rather politely put it that people aren't buying an old carpet, they're buying the original features. <laughs> yes. And that made absolute sense when you explained that to us. Removing furniture. Yes, and adding, adding yeah, But adding furniture. <laughs> and that was a really interesting uh, observation. It isn't just about clearing everything out no. and making the property feel soulless. It's about finding that balance on, on what items to keep, what things make it feel like a home. Uh, we need to tell our viewers that uh, the bed, one of the beds we use, was out of my garage, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I mean, not many people would go as far as to donate their own <laughs> bed. <laughs> okay, great. So, uh, could you just tell me finally, really, how it's impacted your lives now that we're nearly sold and the new buyers are nearly in, you and your sister are quite close. As, as I said, look, not all property sales are a positive experience. Sometimes it's an emotional one. Uh, but we knew that we had to sell. We knew that uh, you know we, we couldn't move into it and having a, a property like this just sat there slowly deteriorating isn't good for, you know, no. for the house. It isn't good for us as a, as a family. No. Do you think we were good value for money? Very few people move so regularly that they know how much to pay for uh, professional services. Uh, so how much you pay for that is a really difficult equation. What I would say on the end of the experience is you delivered and that was what was important. And you made it happen smoothly and efficiently and you took away some of the everyday uh, involvement. Uh, we're all busy, we all have busy lives and at the end of the day I'm no expert on selling houses or dealing with valuations and surveys and solicitors and all of that just happened and I think that's what you pay for. Uh, how much that is worth, I think that's down to the individual. From my experience, it was worth every penny because uh, it was easy, it was simple, and to be honest, <laughs> the clock, I will definitely miss the clock. Uh, it, it's, it's one of those things that, that uh, is a part of your life. It's amazing how often you don't hear it when it's here, but when you do hear it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just takes you straight back. Amazing. Um, um, yeah, it was, it, it's, it's been an experience from beginning to end that has been stress-free uh, and has helped us as a family along the emotional journey of saying goodbye to our family home.